Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we have another new artist alert for the channel. Yes, we're traveling back all the way to 1973 to listen to Love Rain Over Me by The Who. I only know very few songs from this band, maybe three or four, so very excited to check them out finally on the channel. Here we go. Only love can make it rain The way the beach is kissed by the sea Only love can make it rain Like the sweat of lovers laying in the field So this is what I've been missing. Wow. Emotional, powerful. I just keep hitting these emotional, powerful songs one after the other. And The Who is no exception. I know this is a rock opera telling a big grand story about Jimmy. I did a little research here and uh, I see this is the final song on the album. So what a powerful, powerful way to end. Uh, beginning, amazing. You give me rain sounds. I'm sold instantly. I've told you before I love nature sounds, but I most especially love rain and water sounds. So that was perfect here. I loved how they mix those rain sounds with a gorgeous piano, a timpani, and a gong. Really cool combination there. Such a powerful start. So many great elements in this song. I noticed some amazing string arpeggios going on, just added to the drama of the song. And uh, let's talk about Roger Daltrey's voice, you know, not too familiar with this band, as I told you, not really familiar with his voice, but he's such a powerful singer. Wow, really amazing here. Strong, strong voice, powerful. And, you know, when he got into that screaming type rock voice, amazing. Kind of reminded me of Robert Plant a little just in that part, but I uh, really appreciate his vocals here. Powerful, powerful in telling a story, you know.
Like I said, I don't know much about The Who. I don't know if uh, he's the only lead singer in this band, but I would love to hear other songs from them because I have a feeling that he uh, has a lot of elements, a lot of textures, a lot of styles to his voice, and that he can adapt them accordingly to the song. So, wow, really cool song, really surprising. Doesn't sound like the few, you know, that I know, the Who Are You song. I mean, that's completely different from this. I know this is a different type of album, but so, so powerful, so, so emotional, just the way I like it. So let's continue. to end an album probably one of the most epic epic album endings i've ever heard i think that's undeniable did not expect that and that voice at the end you know those last notes wow wow insane i mean that voice can cut tear scratch your soul and chop it into a million pieces wow unexpected and to go from the beginning of the song to the way it ended ah brilliant after the pause, we got a bridge, and I got a very hopeful feeling from that section. Um, really nice guitar solo after that. I think that was Pete Townshend, or however you pronounce it. I got to learn how to pronounce that if I'm going to do more who. Anyway, great solo. Um, I think it's one of the most relaxing guitar solos I've ever heard. I don't know, I just got that feeling, and very hopeful also, that solo. Wow, what a song. Uh, theatrical, dramatic, powerful, all at once, you know. I know the basics of the story, you know, Jimmy dealing with his four split personalities, read up on it really quickly, but 
I don't know the whole story. It's a long album. I don't know what he goes through, all the adventures, all the storylines that are here. But this one song is a great, powerful song. I can see why it's the ending to this epic tale. Like I said, I know this whole storyline involves a teenager named Jimmy with four split personalities, which represent the members of the band. Uh, seems like he's stuck at sea and questioning life in this song. I love the imagery used here, especially the line, uh, the beach being kissed by the sea. What an amazing, beautiful, evocative line. Uh, seems like in the whole song, he's trying to find love and peace in a sea of negativity. And whether he's successful or not, I'm not sure. But uh, again, I got to learn more about the storyline. Absolutely excellent song, though. Anyway, it would be interesting to hear this whole album and see, you know, which are my favorites. But uh, I think this is one of the best. It looks like one of the most popular here on Spotify. It actually is the most listened to song on the album. So uh, for now, I'm going to give it a rating of five golden records yes a slash a plus for the amazing love rain over me by the who 1973 all right that's it for today thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below if you wish to chat with me or just simply to help the channel grow would really appreciate it and would love to hear your thoughts on this album what you think of it uh more of the storyline you know you guys can educate me on what's going on here and which songs are your favorite which songs maybe don't hit, but um, there's so many to choose from. And again, this is a long, epic storyline, I have a feeling. So I think there's a lot of gems in here. Anyway, I also know that Tommy is their other big album. Don't know if it's a double album, but I know it's huge. I know there's a movie, I think, and there might be a movie on this one. Again, got lots to learn, but I would appreciate your input. Anyway, you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I will see you next time in the past. Oh.